Last time on the Cowboy Way, Alabama. Over that one right there, he's got pink eye. There's another one right there. The Cowboys had to act fast. <clears throat> I'll bring the medicine over. To save the herd. We'll put a couple patches on it, because all it's going to do is spread from one cow to the other. Release the beast. Keep coming. Tell me something I can't see. Keep coming. Cody and Booger tried to get the company's office built themselves. Every time I slide it up, it gets hung on something. But with Bubba in Mississippi, Hello? Plans for the office. Uh, whoa, whoa! Oh. Hang on, hang on. Came crashing down. The only thing done right, you gotta do it yourself. I'm thinking about starting a cattle business. Misty took the first step. I need enough to buy 100 head. What I'll do is show you here. Well, hot dang, Misty just went and got that big loan from the bank. I'm good. All right. I wanna tell you something. I've waited my whole life to meet someone like you. And Booger took a giant leap. <laughs> I wanna ask you something. Will you marry me? And now, on this episode of The Cowboy Way. They're coming through, they're coming through. The guys have a huge job ahead of them. Getting cattle across the highway is really dangerous. You got to make sure you got people stopping traffic. Watch them, Bubba. Turn them, Hunter, turn them, Hunter. What is that? That's a GPS. And in a battle of tradition versus technology. You put your little sticky GPS tracker on the ear right here. You go get your dog. I'm going to take old Big Black out here and I'm going to hide him. Booger and Cody face off. <laughs> I'm going this way just because. Bubba! Master Carpenter Bubba. Let me have another piece of metal. Whips the company office into shape. Ain't no problem. While Booger and Cody encourage Bubba to get himself in shape. What is this? You said you wanted to lose some weight. Listen, bud, I don't eat salad. I go for the same stuff, so I'm glad you guys are here. We are on a mission. You know, I'm going to take Bubba and Cody tuck shopping with me. And Booger and Jacqueline start getting ready for their big day. OK, here she comes. I like it. Oh, We're going to split up. Y'all three go this way. And we'll follow the fence. When you get to it, cut back to them woods. Me and Bubba's going to ease around this side, do the same. When y'all start seeing cattle, just bump them towards the hill. We'll get them out on the hill, put the dogs on them, hold them up, and try to get a count on them. Yes, sir. All right, let's roll. We got a herd of cattle that needs to be shipped. And shipping day's payday. You know, when you're gathering cattle on a big place, finding the cattle can be half the battle. Whoa. Well, today we got Clayton and Hunter, the Florida boys down helping us. Cattle are in the woods, we got to go get them out. And we're not just riding through a golf course, you know. We just gotta be careful, because when you ride in them woods and them heads and them branches, there's a lot of things that can hurt you. Come on, Booger, it's getting hot out here. We gotta find these cattle. Hey, cow. Hey! Bubba, watch the other side of the woods! The dogs can smell a cow from a mile away. They'll find them cattle and push them cattle out of them woods for us if we can't get to them. Bubba, this ain't much compared to 90 head. I know. Dang it, boys, there's got to be a better way we can do this, riding around like we don't know what we're doing, looking for something. You know how much time we've wasted this morning? Time is money. Hey, Bubba, I don't know where the rest of them boys are. These cattle are spread out all over this place, and it's getting hot. We need to take these cattle and knock them up the hill, though, get them out there and open it. You want us to push them? Both push them and leave. Y'all hear them, dog? Where's yep. that coming from? Let's go. Finally hear Booger's dog bay up the last set of calves. Thank goodness we can finally get these cattle moved across the highway. They're coming through, they're coming through. Put your dog on. He pushing them out there, Hunter. Let's ease them out, guys. Easy right there, easy right there. Once we get the cattle gathered up and we set on for a second, we turn them out on the highway. We gotta stop traffic, ease the cattle down the highway, and make sure we don't go in the neighbor's yard, and then on to the pens. Sounds easy enough, but a lot of things can happen when you're dealing with cattle. All right, easy now, easy. Bubba, watch the road, stop them cars. Oh, yeah. oh. Go ahead, Clayton, cut around them on the other side. Harris, you're going to have to watch that road now, Harris. Cody, watch that dirt road. 
Pacho! Got Pacho! Leave him alone now. Come got here. him on my right, Clay. I'll let him get in that yard. Ma, ma, ma. Step up here, Bubba. Just don't let him know more in that yard. This is exactly what's not supposed to happen. If they start to trot, just kind of wing them so they don't turn to that yard, Bubba. Just right. There ain't much of a fence in them bushes either. All Step right. up there, right. Harrison. Watch him, Bubba. Watch him, Bubba. You know, if you got cattle going every which way and running down the highway, it makes you look like you don't know what you're doing. Nobody's going to hire you to move their cattle if they know you can't do the job. Where we going, Will? Turn them, Hunter. Turn them, Hunter. Turn them. Easy now. Easy. Sit on. Right, help, yeah. help, help. So just get around and push them right here. Just help. Get out of here, Cap. Hold on just a second. Hold on just a second. Go in that hole. Right, easy, easy. Even though we had an extra set of hands, it took a lot longer than we anticipated. The cattle weren't cooperating with us, and we wasted more than half the day. We're better than that. Good hey, job, guys. Hey, appreciate your help. Yes, I'll holler at y'all a little bit. Right, yes, sir. We'll appreciate it. it. All right. See y'all See y'all, man. See you, man. See you, boy. There is an easy solution to this problem. I'm telling you. Yep. You ready? Make it happen, Captain. Oh, that's what we should have done, rope that old winch. Oh, I missed my slack, but he's a rope joke. <laughs> all seriousness, guys, we gotta, we gotta get that office built, don't we? No joke. Well, I was Heck thinking... no, I'm a cowboy, I'd do anything. There's so many projects that need to be done on that office building right now. We've wasted a lot of time with Booger and Cody trying to do it. But now that I'm back from Mississippi, we'll have that office building put together in no time. Cody, how's Misty's cattle buying deal going on? Misty walks in there, sits down, signs about four pieces of paperwork in there 20 minutes. I give her the money. I don't put everything in her name if she's that, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What about Jacqueline? She ain't married me yet, but it's right around the corner. Hey, oh, what? So what, about your, what about your tuck situation? You got them picked out yet? Well, we could help you. Well, I ain't really thought about it. As long as I wear my hat and boots, I'm happy. Bugger, who you got lined up to be your best man? I ain't thought about it. I guess who's ever the best one is to me. You know, I thought I was gonna be the best man. You know why? My wife's the one that introduced y'all. I'm the man that stepped out there and bought the ring and asked the lady for her hand. I want you to step up and do a little something. I've heard this fellow sing right here, and he's got a magnificent voice. He needs to sing at your wedding. Cody's always going on and on about what a great singer he is. Well, why not put him to the test? Go ahead, Cody. Let's see what you can come up with for old Booger. Cody, I want you to come up with a real song. I mean, something from the heart. Like, write me a song, man. I mean, I want you to write a full song, too. Not no poem or nothing. I want this thing to be good. Man, I waited 34 years to get married. At least you can do is sing a little song. What you want me to sing? Just whatever comes to heart. Harris, I want it to be from your heart. Something from the heart, huh? Well, boys, I'm finna head home. My little boy will be waking up from a nap any minute now. Uh, All right. Y'all holler at me. Booger? Call me C and I'll see y'all tomorrow. I got your song, Rip. It's entitled, Don't Do It, Jacqueline. <laughs> Hey, Booger. Hey, Grandma. What are you doing out this way today? I just come by to see what you had going on. Well, I'm sitting here crocheting. You want to help me? What are you working on? What is it? It's a tablecloth. Well, Grandma, I got something I want to show you. What do you think of that? Ooh-wee. That's beautiful. Who's is that? I asked Jacqueline to marry me. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting for you to ask her. <laughs> I thought you were ha having a time deciding what you were going to do. Well, I finally made up my mind. Oh. Did you get on your knees? You bet I did. <laughs> now, I didn't get on both knees and beg. I just got on one knee. I think she'll make you a good wife, but I sure do, too. You know, I just got to figure out the secret of making a good, successful marriage. Just work together on it, and that's basically what you have to do. My grandparents have always had an extraordinary relationship. And it's amazing how it was such a 50-50 relationship. Jacqueline is a super hardworking young lady, and she's definitely not lazy. And you can't be lazy hanging around me. Have you got everything ready for the wedding? You know, there's a lot of planning to do on the, with that. Heck, I just gave her a ring. <laughs> I ain't thought about the wedding yet. <laughs> 
coming up. You know, I'm gonna take Bub and Cody Tuck shopping with me. I'm gonna need some help. Kylie, where's your Tommy gun at there, big dog? It's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? It's a pretty dress. I just don't think it's my dress. Boys, I want y'all looking good. You know, I'm gonna take Bub and Cody Tuck shopping with me. Heck, these guys have been married before. I haven't ever done this. I'm gonna need some help. All right, what we do now? We're gonna get you out of your style just a tiny bit today. I'm glad That's because because I go for the same stuff, so I'm glad you guys are here to make me try on different styles, you know? Because I would have told you I don't like strapless or mermaid, but I wanna try them. And I really just pictured myself in something kind of lace and low back. Yeah. But. I'm bringing along some help today for dress shopping. I just met Kaylee recently, but we get along really well. Of course, Misty's the one that introduced us, so she's definitely gonna help me pick my dress out. My maid of honor, Brittany, is really important to me. And Pam, Booger's mom, loves planning weddings, so I have to bring her. I like having straps on my shoulders, just yeah. small, not, not spaghetti straps, but yeah. I don't really like the strapless too much. So I'm thinking, like sort Medioker, of, maybe like halter. Medium. Do you want to follow in my footsteps? Mine come clear up to here and <laughs> sleeve from here. <laughs> oh! Yeah. You look like you're going to a Smurf wedding. I want Jacqueline to marry me at my wedding. I don't want to show up looking like a pack of rodeo clowns out of a job. She wouldn't stand there five minutes for me to show up looking like that. That looks horrible. Okay, here she comes. I it's like really it. pretty. I like Isn't that pretty? pretty? Yeah. I've never strapless. liked strapless. But, and I really wanted low back. Uh -huh. Yeah, that one. Um, it's a pretty dress. It I just is. don't think it it's my dress. Although I'm not too opinionated on the dress at this point, I was pretty sure going into this, I did not want strapless. So when I try on a strapless dress, I can pretty much decide that I'm right about that. I do not want a strapless dress. Look like I'm expecting a flood. You look like a bellhop. <laughs> Kylie, where's your Tommy gun at there, big dog? <laughs> oh, no, that's oh, not this, it. This oh, isn't the one. That's not the one. I'm thinking this isn't the dress. No. I think this is an yeah, easy one do. to roll out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whoa. You look, you look great in your suit and everything. Your hat looks good. I love you, little bolo. When they say bolo, I say bono. Ain't nobody gonna be wearing no bolos at my show. That's good, man. You look pretty sharp, bud. Thank you. Y'all do, too. What, you I'm not a fan of blue, but that looks good on you. Well, I'm not a fan of you wearing your sister's pants, but, I mean, that's... <laughs> well, bubs, they got my measurement right. They got mine wrong. Man, I mean, I had to suck it on in to get in these bad boys right here now. They look like a pair of yoga pants. They are a little snug. They must have got the wrong measurements or give me somebody else's pants because they ain't fitting. I'm willing to get on a diet if that means I don't have to listen to Booger anymore. Guys, this just ain't, I mean, this is, this looks pretty good, but I just don't believe this is it. Let's hurry up and get these suits Golly, picked man. out because I'm getting hungry. Yeah, you are just walking with an extra <laughs> little pep in your step. Oh, I love the best. Yes, that's beautiful. Yep. And it has straps. Yes. It does have straps. And too. lace. Yes. Mm -hmm. That, I'm telling you, that is wow. So this dress actually might work. It has straps like I liked. It's got some lace on top, which I think goes great in a country setting. This really could be the dress that I could walk down the aisle in. Thank you so much for helping me find a dress. and. 
Well, you're so welcome. This whole thing. You know, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but here today. <laughs> She's trying to make sure you don't run away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is it. You look sharp, boy. You do look Thanks, sharp. Huh? This is a real deal, man. What you think about us? I mean, look at y'all guys. Y'all look awesome. I feel awesome. Sometimes I get the heebie-jeebies, guys, but I'm telling you right now, this feels right. Like, when I see all y'all, man, it means a lot. I want to thank y'all for being my wedding right now. We ain't even did a wedding yet. This is a big deal with me. You know, we really clean up nice. I think we finally found the look that I'm going for for my wedding. Thanks, bud. Feels good. Congratulations, man. Place. Place. Good morning, handsome. Good morning. What are you doing? I'm trying to figure out the lyrics for the song. All right, people come from miles around. I want to throw something in there about. What is the around, basis around, of this? Around. It's a song for Booger. Booger getting married. You know, I've been dabbling my whole life in songwriting. But all the things of late that's happened, me finding the love of my life and Misty and Bubba having his wife and Booger finding him a woman, I feel it's time for me to write a true and sincere love song. There's some good lyrics in this song. I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. I'm trying to figure out what rhymes with saddle up. Like, you got, I want it to be called saddle up and something like saddle up and throw down, saddle up and paddle. Saddle up, milk a cow. Saddle up and milk a cow, no. The song I'm writing now, it's about halfway done. It's still at the baby stage. I still got to feed this song baby milk. It ain't ready for solid foods yet. I've got to find a little more inspiration to put on my finishing touches. It's coming to me. I'm, I got to balance it out so it just flows, you know what I mean? Like that. Mm -hmm. Coming up, I got an idea. You put your little sticky GPS tracker on the ear right here. Go get your dogs ready. I'm gonna take old Big Black out here and I'm gonna hide him. You see if you can find where he's at. Five, four, three. I'm going this way just because you're going that way. Yep, yep. Hey, cow, hey, cat, hey. Catch him, Bubba. That's more like it. I've got a couple steers right now that we need a doctor. We're gonna run them up into the chute and give them some medicine. Make them start feeling a little bit better. Put a circle on him. Yum, yum, yum. Man, that stuff yesterday, I'm telling you. There you are. You finally decided to show up today. Howdy, girls. What's up, Harris? Good to see you, Mr. Brown. What you... Pleasure. You act like you just met us. What are you doing? <laughs> Gentlemen, this is the future. I tell you what. The amount of money we're going to save using this, I can give myself a raise. What is that? It's a GPS. The problem at hand is cattle being scattered out. We don't know where they are. We spent a half a day looking for them. It should have been a two-hour job turning to a half a day. How do you solve that problem? GPS. We're going to put it on the cattle. And then we got to find the cow and the GPS. You just hold tight, son. What you, I, how are we going to put that on there? Easy. Well, Stick it on there. On here? I'm going to stick it on the ear tag. The guy guaranteed me the adhesive that would stick to that ear tag will not come off. So we're gonna go buy a thousand of them and spread them around on cattle? How much do they cost? Around 60 bucks. A piece? Yeah. I tell you what, GPS stands for? Stands for just plain stupid. What if he rubs it off in a feed trough? One second. How long we spend the other day trying to find that group of calves? How long? Half a day. We burnt half a day. So what do we do, download an app on our smartphone and then we can locate where they're at? I'm one step ahead of you. Already got downloaded. I got a daggum trailer full of dogs out there to find cattle for me. How much we see how good that worked out the other day. How much you spend a year in dog feed? A lot, and they worth every penny of it. You ain't gonna bring no GPS tracker up here and tell me you're gonna find cattle faster than I can. I can tell you that right now. What are you gonna do when you get to them? Shoot a flare in the air? You gotta pin them. You gotta take them with the pins there, bud. Well, no doubt. You still gotta do the work, but it's the finding part. I got an idea. You put your little Shoot. sticky your little sticky GPS tracker on the ear right here, whatever you want to do. You go get your dogs ready. I'm going to take old Big Black out here and I'm going to hide him. All I need is a direction. You just wait. When he takes that left and right, 
I know where he's turning. I know every are. step he makes. Just a little bit of this stuff. Says you got to hold it 20 seconds. OK. Yeah, we'll just hang out a while. Good thing we're down to two head at 200 out here. That'd take like, what, three days? I mean, no real cowboy's going to use a GPS to find cows. We do it the old-fashioned way. We'll go find them. There he is right there, right where I said he'd be. What is this, like an online profile? I'm sorry, buddy. If it's anything like that online dating, I'm sorry. I know, that sucker right there kind of resembles a few of your dates. <laughs> You boys ready for the GPS challenge? Booger, you got your dogs? I do this for a living. I ain't scared. <laughs> Cody, you got your phone charged up and that app downloaded? Yes, sir. 28%. That's all I need. You better put that thing on low battery mode with 28%. I know where he's at right now. There he sits. You know how I know? Because oh, well, my phone told me so. <clears throat> well, I mean, you know where he's sitting because you're looking at him. You can set that timer for five minutes. As soon as five minutes is up, you turn that GPS tracker on. You see if you can find where he's at. I'm going to go call her up my dogs. I'll be ready. I forgot my dang password. Hang on. Got it. All right, go ahead. You ready? All yep. right, here we go. See you in a minute, bug. Good luck, ladies. I'm confident in myself. I find cattle for a living. I know my dogs. All I need is a hot track. That cow's mine. Five, four, three. I'm going this way just because you're going that way. I trailed a cow one time that had been out for two years. I had a general area that cow was staying where it was coming out at night. So I showed up there the next morning and found me a track. One cow and about nine miles later, I had that thing caught. Oh, what the heck? Whoop, get him up, boy. Go ahead, bug. Get him up now. Yep. Yep. There ain't no way. What the heck? Well, I ride on through the gate. I'm on my phone. That thing's just sending me all kind of signals. You're close, you're close, you're close. Almost there, almost there. Where? Says I'm here. Says he's here. But he ain't. Yes. I see this running the bottom side of the field. Them dogs have brought him out of the woods, obviously. He comes out and I lay to him to get a rope on him. Kidding me? The moment I see that GPS laying in that creek with no cow attached, I'm really beginning to think somebody set me up. Here's some Jose, some direction. You ready? Got it. I had my money on you the whole time. You know, technology is great. Great in a lot of ways. But I like doing things the old fashioned way many times. Many times that pays off. He's out there chasing, looking for a daggum tracker that ain't even on a cow. Man, I'm telling you, we're gonna have to take that boy to get his head checked. Hello. Where are you at? Man, I am just about to find this Sherlin, and you interrupted me. If you're looking for the cow, you better come over here and look at my trailer, son. If you're hunting a GPS, well, good luck with that. Well, I know where the GPS tracker is. I've been sabotaged. Somebody threw it in the creek. And nobody pulled no trick on you. You couldn't find the cow with your little GPS. I don't have to sabotage you. I know I was going to find that cow. There wasn't no reason to stoop that low. My phone worked precisely as planned. Brought me straight to the GPS. I mean, just straight to it as you could possibly come. We'd be better off if you throw the GPS in the bushes three days ago. I can tell you right now. Got time listening this morning. Coming up, 
Boys, I'm glad y'all gathered here today. Got y'all undivided attention. We're fixing to have the first and ever and last best man competition. A competition on who's gonna be the best man. <laughs> what is that? Hold up right here. Don't look. Don't look. I'm so proud of you for wanting to step out and do something not many women wanted to do. So without further ado, do you want to see what I drug you out in the middle of the field for? Yes. Picking up one sheet? Yeah, we're going to take one sheet at a time Come up on. there. Booger and I done made up our minds. We are going to finish that office today, with or without Bubba. You got it? I want that sucker boat. Pick it up. What's up, fellas? Being in again. Well, well, well. Bubba! Hey, partner. Good to see you. Dude, we've been working. Good to Good see you anyways. All right. Let's get something done. Man. Here comes old master carpenter and himself. Graces us with his presence. I'm already give out. We ain't got nothing accomplished. I don't even see any sweat on you, bud. You ain't looking hard enough. This is my second shirt. Is it? No. Booger's idea of hard work is picking rocks up off the ground. Come on! I mean, no wonder Tweedledee and Tweedledum can't get it accomplished by themselves. Let me have another piece of metal. Ah. Ain't no problem. What is he doing? I said, have you had to deal with this the whole time? Why do you think I'm so ornery? What are you doing over here? Supervising. Well, we need your help over here. That's where you're going to run into some problems. You never start a job without a supervisor. I tell you what, take your tool pouch, because you ain't toting no tools, and go get us some lunch. I will go get some lunch. I don't even know why you have a tool pouch. I'll be back. I'm going to take a shower. Chamber shirt, too. As long as he's out of the way doing his thing, we can get something done. All right, that's good right there. So that's a stake back, you know, about a foot back from 16. So Don't you hit my hand now. I ain't gonna hit your hand, you gotta trust me. Have faith. Me and you got more done in 10 minutes than me and Booger got done in half a day. Yeah. Heck, me and Booger trying to do it, I might as well have been trying to do it myself. A plan will come together when you got the right two guys working on it. Bumping them gums. Hey, now. About time you brought some lunch. What in the world you got in a burlap? Most of y'all a little something to know, huh? Just me. You done ate? Oh, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. That's yours, buddy. Just what you want. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? You said you wanted to lose some weight. Listen, bud, I don't eat salad. Friendship is about sacrifices. If Bubba's gonna fit in that tux, he's gotta lose some weight. And if salad's what's got to happen, then salad it is. What is this? Right here. This really looks like it come off the top of a pond. <laughs> Give me some of that fried chicken right there. You want to lose weight, you can't eat fried chicken, man. You want, you want a fresh fries. You want fresh fries now. <laughs> this is crap, man. This is nonsense. Have I ever done y'all like this? I see how it is. I see how it's going to be. Y'all want to make me lose weight? That's fine. Might check that burlap sack. Might be something in there. Let me tell you something. I don't like salad. Salad tastes like grass. Cows eat grass. I'm not a cow. I'm the one who eats the cow, not the grass. So how about bringing me a steak? Well, it looks like we got some cards in here and a Don't notebook. go to digging up all of this. You, be digging right around. you don't know what you're looking at or what you're looking for. This is my stuff. Boys, y'all back up right here. I'm going to show you a little something, something. Boys, I'm glad y'all gathered here today. Got y'all undivided attention. We're fixing to have the first and ever and last best man competition. A competition on who's gonna be the best man? Best man of my wedding, dude. You know, I really don't know who I want to be my best man. And if I ask one and not the other, they get the little feelings hurt. So I think Bub and Cody needs to have a competition. They need to duel it out. Do you know the duties of a best man? I know y'all done got married, but what's the duties of a best man? The past 10 years of me putting up with you. 
The duties of the best man is to hand you the ring. So now, I want to see who can hand me the ring the fastest, the smoothest, the safest, without losing a thing. Not a knife, not a knife. Calm down. I was pretending it was a ring. Hand me a ring! Hey, Bubba, pretty fast. You got me on that one. Mark him down. Mark him down. Round two is mine. You can put that in the books. I've come up with a series of questions. The man that gets the job knows the groom the best. I need a best man that knows me inside and out. If they can't answer this simple round of questions, then they both lose. Does Booger prefer bedheads, blondes, or brunettes? Brunettes. That was an easy one for y'all. Who had the biggest influence in Booger's life? His granddaddy. granddaddy. What does Booger like to teach children to say? Mm, you got me on that one, bud. Wait, wait, it's coming to me. Horn kettle! Horn kettle! <laughs> Horn kettle! And that's an inside joke. I can't tell you exactly what it means because I really don't know. It seemed to be we had a two-way tie. Well, so what does that mean? What you want to do now? The guys ain't going to like it. I got just the thing to break this tie. Get in it, boys. Put that on. We fixing to have a sack race. It don't really matter to me who can win a sack race. I just think <laughs> it's real funny watching the guys do it. Bubba, you better be ready, old boy. I'm fixing to bring the heat, son. Mm, I hear you about to eat burlap. Ready, set, wait. Wait. Come on now, quit jacking around. Oh, you are. Get set, go! Come on, Bubba! Bubba, they're gonna come down! Go, Bubba! Go, Bubba! Go, Bubba! Hey, come on, you gotta get by! You gotta get by, come on! Bring it, boys! Give me all you got! <laughs> Keep going! I don't think neither one of them's ever sat race before in their life. Let's give it up right there, huh? <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's all right, guys. I decided two weeks ago Britt was going to be my best man. <laughs> the best man is my buddy Britt. One of my childhood friends. I mean, me and this guy grew up together. I feel kind of bad for putting Bubba and Cody through this deal, you know? It sure was funny to me to watch. <laughs> I'm only getting married once, boys. At this point in my song, I've got all the lyrics. I got a really catchy tune, but I just don't have that hook that, that brings you all the way in and keeps you there. I don't have that just yet. That's what I'm looking for. Saddle up. Dang it. Saddle up. It's time to saddle up. Saddle up. It's time to saddle up. It's time to saddle up. Saddle up and saddle up and it's time to saddle up and what? It's time to saddle up, man. It's time to saddle up, saddle up, saddle, saddle down. Woo! There it is. Settle down! Settle down! Settle down! Ooh. It's perfect. Saddle up and settle down. I've got my song. I've got the hook. All I got to do now is go record the song. Settle down, boys! Coming up. Just, uh, we'll start working on whatever you got. You got some lyrics here or what? I do know that the words mean something. I just need to put them into music. music. And this bond is looking. Uh, I feel so confident in this song. It's just one of them songs that captivates you, just brings you in and keeps you there, takes you to a happy place. It's perfect for Booger. Hey, Mr. John. You must be Cody. Yes, sir. Hey, good to have you. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Yeah, man. Come on in. <laughs> here we go. Come over here to the microphone. All right. And we'll just uh, we'll start working on whatever you got. You got some lyrics here or what? I do know that the words mean something. I just need to put them into music. 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 So now what now what is this song about here? Cody? It's just about a cowboy finding a woman he loves and, and getting married and settling down. That's why it's entitled Saddle Up and Settle Down. Saddle up and settle down, okay. All right. And you see the okay. chorus right here. Yeah. They're gonna ride through life together, two paths made into one. Okay. Gonna get hitched, get hitched to, each other. to each other. A bond that can't be undone. See, I don't know how to do the 
can't be undone, do you like drag it out or you just? Can be undone. Uh, yeah, done. Uh, <laughs> like calling up cattle. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think that'd be good. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So here's your head. These are your headphones, Cody. Okay. Here we go. All right, John boy. All right, here we go. That's when it starts? It yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, So gotcha. let's see. All right, here we go. They're gonna ride through life together. Two paths made into one. Gonna grab the rain, share the joy and pain. Whatever life brings around, it's time. When all the stars align and everything's just perfect, this is that moment. This is that moment in time, right now. And his barn is looking. Uh, and his barn. His barn. Yeah, yeah. Barn. yeah his barn. Yeah. His barn. Yeah. His barn. His barn. You ready now? Top, you top sure you ready? Page two. Top. Having a good time. I mean, this is just easy. Booger's gonna love this song. Gonna get hitched to each other. A bond that can't be undone. Gonna grab the rain, share the joy and pain. Whatever life brings around, it's time to settle up, settle down. Um, you think we have what we need here, or? I'm confident about this, you know what I mean? If you think we got it, we'll go ahead and we'll start mixing, and uh, I'll have a CD you can leave here with today. Okay, good deal. All right. I might need to take up a full career doing this. This is it, this is your song, man. She already looks gold. I'm gonna go home and play this bad boy. Oh, hey, good luck to you. Hey man, thanks again, All right. John. God Absolutely. Dang. Woo! I'm excited. Yay! Coming up. This is you well, singing? Boys, I appreciate y'all coming with me. Oh yeah, buddy, anytime. I need y'all's opinion on something, a surprise for Misty. Surprise for Misty. She got approved for a loan, she wanted to go buy some cows. She wanted to go, so this is something she'll need if she's gonna want some cows. Well, what is it? Well, we'll see. I mean, I just, it's a surprise. Okay. Speaking of surprises, Booger, I got you one for your wedding, man. Surprise for my wedding. Your surprise is on this CD. How do you make this stupid thing work? Just, that's all you gotta do? This is for you, Booger Brown. This is for you. Well, his buddies been worried because they ain't seen the boy all week. <laughs> And something's up when they do when his truck, truck is clean. <laughs> is this you, Harry? You don't right, it's me. This is when you singing? When they get to see him and ask him just where he's been. We're gonna ride through life together. Two paths made into one. No, Cody, don't give up being a cowboy and a calf rope. Gonna get his to each other. A bond that can be a man. You hear that? I feel so confident in this song. I wrote the song, I sang the song, but I'm being pulled in, I'm being drawn in. I'm in that place. I am in the song. I mean, there, it's just, whew, power of my voice. Best part coming up. It's time to settle up, settle down. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. yeah. Cody's yeah. always bragging all the time about him having a voice of an angel. It ain't the voice of an angel. It's more like the voice of the boogeyman that used to hide up underneath your bed. I'll give you that CD for you to play at your wedding, but I've been really thinking about it. Honestly, I'll just come sing live at your wedding if you want me to. No, 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 and no. no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Booger. We'll get it worked out. We'll see how it works out. I'll let you know. I'll start practicing then. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and continue letting your studio be the, the shower or mm -hmm. the bathroom where you mm -hmm. sing. It, you know. Acoustic environment. Or in the pickup truck when nobody's riding mm -hmm. with you. That'll work too. Well, I was gonna give you this CD, but I believe I'll no, keep it. No, I know. I love the song. I love it, man. 
Some people are cowboys, and some people just want to sing about being cowboys. I mean, you need to be better off being a cowboy. Heck, I figured I could do both. This is the silliest thing he's come up with yet. I do think it's pretty good, but I ain't telling you. No, that GPS was way sillier. Hey, man, I appreciate that, Harris. That's pretty good of you, buddy. It wasn't too bad, man, so don't get rid of your hat. And don't buy a microphone. It's time to settle up, settle down. You trust me? Yes. Are we in the field? Yeah, we're in the field. Whatever you do, don't oh, fall. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what is happening? Don't look, right don't look. Booger and Bubba helped me pick out the perfect gift for Misty for her business, and I'm about to surprise her with it. I hope she loves it. I've always been supportive of my wife, and for her to step out there on a leap of faith to start a cattle company, I'm proud of her. <laughs> I'm just so proud of you, babe. I really am. Thank From you, the bottom baby. of my heart. She has the grit and determination, especially with a newborn baby, you know? and no guaranteed income. I'm so proud of you for wanting to step out and do something not many women want to do. So without further ado, do you want to see what I drug you out in the middle of the field for? Yes. Turn around, Bye. silly. <laughs> oh my gosh. You like that? Full moon cattle company trailer with a big pretty bow on it. The fact that he did that is huge is just proof that he believes in what I'm trying to accomplish. I'm gonna haul it around with the bow so that everybody knows it's a girl that owns it. Mm. You can't haul it around with the bow. Do you <laughs> like not? it? Sure. You promise you'd like it? I promise. Well, go look at it. I love go it. check it out. Well, Missy's gotta have a cow trailer. If she's gonna be in the cow business, she needs a nice little 24-foot stock trailer, something she can eat, get around in real easy. My girls are gonna like this. Think so? Yeah. Four brand new tires, one brand new spare. We good to go. This is awesome. I actually got to thinking when I bought it, I was like, you know, I kind of like this trailer a lot, and I really didn't want to give it away. Maybe while I'm waiting for my cows, I'll just rent it out to you. Rent it out to me? Yeah. I'm still making payments on this thing. I have 100% faith in my wife turning this into a successful cattle business. There's no doubt. My wife's driven. My wife's faith driven, more importantly. She'll do well, I can assure you. I love you so much, and I thank you so, so much for doing this, but most of all for believing in me. It's gonna work out. Uh, You're gonna wanna be on my team eventually. <laughs> I'm already your biggest fan. You know, at one time our goal was to get our house built, still is, but if my wife has a dream she wants to chase, I'm gonna support her 100%. What kind of man would I be if I did? I love you. I love you.